Generational changes are something that nature knows best, because nature knows best what one needs. It knows unconsciously, because nature is one with creation. It is creation itself, whatever name we give it. Just as one can wet a seed with their saliva and then plant a seed, the seed will give them food based on the saliva they also have acquired, because that saliva has aspects of your DNA. It includes within it ideas that, well, it technically in includes your DNA, and that DNA is your current time's DNA, with the lacks that your body has, because people aren't experts in ensuring that their body is well fed, so more or less many people ha will have lacks. So, if you wet a seed with saliva and you plant it, the plant that grows will give you fruit that will have also a bit more of that which you are lacking, thanks to the DNA that it got in contact with as it grew. So it automatically knows. It doesn't have any conscious intelligence, but when it feels a lack, it knows that it must give. For many or Many would actually harm animals without a second thought. There are also the more fragile ones who say, but we are also harming plants. Don't be fooled, because plants are giving you their fruits so that you eat them. Fruits know that they are created to be eaten, to be sacrificed for that, because ultimately they know their point is to simply die and to spread the seeds. That is why the seeds were created with such care by nature, that they simply cannot be digested by any animal, so that they get to be spread through the fecals of the animals. And as they spread, they also give the next generation of animals that comes in, they will give them fruit, the trees that will grow in hundreds of years, they will give them fruits based on their lacks. It is a trade, it is a barter of nature. Just as... Um, so one can simply wet a seed with their saliva and plant it. The seed will give them food adapted to their bodily lacks, thanks to the DNA which is in the saliva. Alright, it is similar to this, that also children come with different gifts. Based on what humanity lacks, children will also come with certain gifts, because they are also touched by creation just like us. It is just that we seek to play this ignorant game in which we separate from creation and we embrace separation and pain as the new normal. It is this which is unfortunately blocking most of our intuition. But children are touched by creation, so they will come with gifts. And we are embracing their gifts and encouraging their seeds to sprout, for they are just like trees and they bear fruits. Not picking up, not picking them up for use has them wither unvoiced, unsupported, even unnoticed. Are we against nature's will to support us, and what will the cost be? We already give too much power to some entities, and people who don't give a dang about us. Think about a great scale. Stop thinking about yourself. You're nothing else than a speck of dust. Many other specks of dust have existed, and how many of those did history remember? How many of those will still come into this world? Because there will be more specks of dust that will come. Most likely, you will travel upon this world beyond your life, beyond this current life. You'll most likely come again. Unless you simply cure your karma and transcend it completely, you will always walk this earth sooner or later. So it is better that you leave the world at least better, because next time when you come, if it is worse, you will have to go through the same cycles, if not even worse. All this being said, you are appreciated. Take care. Ferenjan Board signing out.